Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Gracia Chisholm and I'm a voice specialist, speech pathologist, singer, all of the above, and I love what I do. Today I'm going to teach you a little something about semi-occluded vocal tract exercises. The first thing we're going to do is Lox Vox, or what I like to call bubbles. Very easy, very simple, great way to retrain and coordinate the respiratory and the phonatory system. Over time, those things can kind of get out of whack. You can start creating a lot of pressure here to get your voice out, and we're not using the airflow and kind of holding on our voices. But we want to learn to relax and let them out. And here's a really fun, easy way to take voice out of speech. So all you need is a cup halfway full with a straw. Doesn't matter what kind of straw. And we're going to be blowing bubbles. Yep, that's right. First thing I want you to do is just steadily blow bubbles like this. No voice. There we go. All your air was expelled out through the straw. The bubbles represents airflow. So we need to keep air flowing. We don't want to hold it back and hold it in. We want to keep expelling it out. We want to do that one more time. No voice. All right. There you go. You should have to take a big breath when you're done because all your exhale was through the straw. And that's how I want you to think about it. Just exhale through the straw, okay? The bubbles were steady. They weren't overflowing all over the cup. I tell my patients, I don't want you to have to wear your bathing suit when you come to see me. But we just want to have steady airflow. Next, we want to turn on our voices while keeping the airflow steady. That equals keeping the bubbles nice and steady, never letting them stop. Let's try. Pick any pitch that is comfortable for you. Here we go. Steady airflow. I needed to take a breath in afterwards. That means all my air was expelled as my voice was produced. Let's try it one more time and pay attention to the bubbles this time. Now, you should kind of feel a little buzzing by your lips or a buzzing by your, your nose here. Just something that shows you that all the energy is forward and not back into your throat. Now that you've conquered that, let's try turning our voice on and off while the bubbles continue to flow. So listen carefully and really focus on the bubbles. Nice breath in. Did you notice that you heard my voice turn on and off, but the bubbles never stopped. They were continuously flowing. 
That's because I'm breathing. Thank goodness I'm breathing. So we don't want you to stop breathing, okay? Everybody stay with me and make sure you're exhaling through the straw, turning the voice on and off. This is so interesting to me because in the English language, we have so many sounds and some of them are voiced, some are voiceless, just like this, S and Z. Think about that. I didn't move anything, but just turn my voice on and off to distinguish S versus Z. So let's try the bubbles one more time, thinking about turning our voices on and off. Steady bubbles. Breath in. Great job. So keep doing that really maybe five, 10 times even. Make sure you're doing it every day. Once you've conquered that step, now you can go on to three to five notes. What I like to call little hills like this. Little hills. So just three to five notes, making it nice and slow and steady and easy, up and down. Now, once you've conquered the little hills, time for the big hills. As low as you can go to as high as you can go with the steady bubbles, like this. way to warm up your voice, cool down your voice. Remember, air is always flowing. So once you've mastered these bubbles, you can take over with lip trills even, like this. Notice how I was off, then on, and then off and on. So we can do all of these exercises with our lips as well, even the little hills and the big hills. Remember those little hills? Now let's do our big hills. That is so much fun. And then you can even take the straw out of the water. Practice with the straw. What you want to feel is vibration on the lips and vibration through the nose. Ready? Or the little hills. Always hear the air flowing to the front. And then you can take your favorite song and start singing through a straw. Like, let's think about the sound of music. Right? So you too can be a singer through the straw. No tension. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.